This video covers the IGCSC Biology Objective 2.1.7 on the 2025 CAI syllabus to describe levels of cell organization. So cell organization starts from the least complex level and goes to the most complex level. This means that from specialized cells, we move on to tissues, then to organs, to organ systems, which then makes up the organism. So let's define the levels of cell organization. So the least complex level is the cell. This is the smallest unit of life, life capable of carrying out all the functions of living things. So remember, we're talking about something like a bacteria here. It can do all um, the characteristics of living things and nothing smaller than a cell is able to do that. When you have groups of cells that are the same type of cell, then you have what's called a tissue. These tissue perform a specific function in an organism, and we'll look at some examples of this in a little bit. When you have several different types of tissue grouped together that carry out a particular function for an organism, then you have an organ. When you have groups of organs that work together to perform a specific function, then you have an organ system. And when you have several organ systems, you then have a multicellular organism. So we go from cell to organism in that way, where the previous level are groups of different types or the same type, depending on what level you're looking at, and then become more and more complex as you move from cell to organism. So let's look at plant organization. So we're looking at a plant cell that groups of those plant cells are could be photosynthetic tissue. For example, if we're looking at um, palisade mesophyll cells, that's part of the leaf, which is the organ, which is part of the shoot system, which then is part of the organism, which could be any plant or in this case, a tree. Um, Another example of this is looking at a specialized cell like a root hair cell. This then makes up part of the root tissue, which makes up now the organ known as the root, which is part of the vascular system. That is the system of transport, which then is part of the organism. And the transport system is one of the systems that make up the plant. <clears throat> So let's look at this on the organ level and see how that plays out. So um, as part of the leaf organ, we've got epidermal cells. This is part of um, what makes the cuticle in the plant and protects the leaf from water loss. These epidermal cells make up epidermal tissue in the leaves. And remember, the leaf is the organ. The second type of cell and tissue in the leaf are palisade cells, which we've talked about. They absorb light for photosynthesis. This becomes photosynthetic tissue in the leaf. And we've got the xylem cells. This is to transport water, and this makes up vascular tissue in the leaf. So a leaf is made up of three types of tissue. That is vascular, photosynthetic, and epidermal. And that now forms the leaf organ in a plant. In the root, which is a different organ, we've got root hair cells that absorb water from the soil. These are epidermal tissues in the root. And we've got xylem cells which transport water. This is vascular tissue in the root. So we've got the epidermal and vascular tissues that form the root organ in a plant. All right, let's take a look at animal organization. So an animal organization um, we are looking at specialized cells, in this case a muscle cell. Groups of those um, muscle cells become muscle tissue. Um, different types of tissue will form the heart, which is the organ, which is part of the circulatory system, and the circulatory system makes up one of the systems that is in an organism like a human. Another example of this would be something like the digestive system in a, in a human. So we've got cells that line the intestine, um, which have something called villi. I know they look like ciliated cells, but they're not. Um, they have villi, and the um, villi form epithelial tissue when they're grouped together in the intestine, which is the organ level. Um, the intestine is part of the overall digestive organ system with various um, organs such as the stomach, the liver, the large and small intestine, and that makes up one of the organ systems in 
the human organism. All right, so let's take a look at um, two organs and see how it works in animal organization. So um, first of all, we've got the epithelial cells that line the inside lining of the stomach. That is epithelial tissue. We've got um, fibroblast cells that connect the inner lining of the stomach to the muscles. That is connective tissue. So this is all the tissue in the stomach. We've got smooth muscle cells that turn the food in the stomach. That is muscle tissue. So the stomach is made up of those three types of tissue, epithelial, connective, and muscle tissue. Um, when we're looking at the trachea of an organism, an animal, for breathing, we've got the ciliated cells that push out mucus that has been trapped. Um, um, that has trapped dust and bacteria from the trachea. These are also epithelial tissues. Epithelial just means the outer edge. So a trachea, that organ, which is part of the respiratory system, is made out of epithelial tissue. It's groups of these ciliated cells together that perform a function.